Hello and welcome to section 2, Setup Jenkins. In the previous video, we prepared a development and production Docker environment. In this section, we will use these two environments to do the following. Prepare Jenkins using a Docker container, build our Docker image with Jenkins, and finally deploy to production with Jenkins. Here we are in the first video, installing Jenkins. In this video, we will be setting up Jenkins as a Docker container. We will also test the installation to make sure we can interact with our development Docker host from inside Jenkins. Here we are back in our development environment. To begin setting up Jenkins, we first prepare a Docker volume. To prepare the volume, I type docker, volume, create, and name it Jenkins. This is where Jenkins will save all the settings and data about our application. Our Docker image is now built. Next, we will run this Docker image. To begin running Jenkins in a Docker container, let us first identify the group ID of the Docker group in our Docker host. To identify the group ID, we will type get ent group and Docker. Here you can see that the group ID for the Docker group is 993. We will use this information to make sure that Jenkins has permissions to connect to our Docker host. Now let us launch the Jenkins container with docker run. Here we specify that we will use the docker volume we created earlier and mount it in Jenkins home. We will also tell the Jenkins container to mount the docker socket. Finally, we indicate the group ID that we found earlier for the docker group so that Jenkins can access the docker socket. Finally, let's call this container Jenkins and then point it to the Docker image we created earlier. Now fully initialized. Now let us launch the Docker container with Docker run. Here we specify that we will use the Docker volume we created earlier as the Jenkins home directory. So I point to the Docker volume called Jenkins and mount it in the Jenkins home directory var Jenkins home. We will also mount the Docker host socket. We mount this so that the Docker host will be able to serve requests from inside our Jenkins Docker container. Next, we indicate the Docker groups group ID 993 that we found earlier. And finally, we specify that it should run in the background and name it Jenkins. And then we point it to the Docker image we created earlier. Now Jenkins is running. Now that Jenkins is initialized, let us visit the Jenkins web page. To figure out the IP address of the Jenkins container, let us type docker inspect. We tell docker inspect that we are only interested in the IP address of the Jenkins container. So we go to the property called network settings dot networks dot bridge dot IP address. And then we tell Docker inspect that we want this information from our Docker container called Jenkins. As you can see, the Docker container has the IP address 172.17.0.1. Here we are in our web browser and we will put the Jenkins containers IP address. Next, we indicate port 8080, which is the default Jenkins port. And now you see we are in the Jenkins login screen. The Jenkins page is locked with the password, but it also tells us where to get the password. So in this page, it's telling us that inside our Docker container, the password is located here. To view the secret file, let us run docker exec. So we will be running docker exec against our Jenkins container and basically print out the contents of the secret file. As you can see, the secret file contains the password for our Docker Jenkins container. We will use this to log in to Jenkins. We'll paste this password to proceed to the next screen. Here in the next screen, we will indicate that we want to install plugins manually. Here in the plugin installation page, we will first select none and then we will look for the plugins that we want. The first plugin we want is the Git plugin. We will use this plugin to check out our Docker application from its source code. Next, 
we want to install the pipeline plugin. The pipeline plugin will be used to define our build and deploy pipeline. Now that we selected the Git and pipeline plugin, we install them now. So Jenkins will download the dependencies of these plugins aside from these plugins and initialize Jenkins with them. After installing all the plugins, Jenkins will now ask us to create an admin user. Here, we populated the fields with the username DockerHP. After filling out all the required fields, we just press save and finish, and Jenkins should now be ready for usage. Now we can start using Jenkins. Now that Jenkins is set up and ready to go, let us define a test Jenkins job to check if it can interact with our development Docker host. To create a test job, click the new item at the side of the Jenkins page. Set the job name to test and then indicate that we will create a pipeline job. Finally, click OK. Now we are at the job configuration page. Here in the job configuration page, let us click at the pipeline tab and here it will ask us to specify a pipeline script. Inside this pipeline script text box, we will paste this pipeline script that will basically initiate a connection with our Docker host. Finally, let us click the save button to save the configuration. Now we have configured our test job. To run the test job, simply click on the build now link. After a while, the generated run will be complete. And as you can see, the job was successful. Now let us click on the job and click on its console output. As you can see in the console output, we basically have the output of Docker info as if we type it from our development environment directly. In conclusion, we finished setting up Jenkins inside the Docker container. We set a few configuration options in Docker and Jenkins so that we can access our Docker hosts from inside our Docker container.